right? Another good one is funk. This one is classic because it always gives a, one question leads to another, right? So F O R M is funk. I use form as family or from. So, you know, ask about family or where you're from. O is occupation. What do you do? R is recreation. And M is motivation. So that could be a really, that framework alone could be a 30-minute conversation. All you're doing is asking questions. So I start off with the course, hey, where are you from? Now, right now, we live in Atlanta. Atlanta is a melting pot for every place. So everybody is from someplace else. Where are you from? They're like, I'm from Oklahoma. I'm from North Carolina. I'm from Florida. What brought you to Atlanta? Well, I came here for work. I came here for school. I came here for my spouse. They came for school. What school did you go to? I went to Emory. I went to Georgia State, Georgia Tech. Right? Each question kind of leads to another. Right? What did you major in school? I majored in economics. I majored in education. All right? The questions lead to another. But if you continue to ask, it will just start to flow. Right? Because I went from where you're from all the way to occupation. What do you do for them? I am a teacher. I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm a mechanic. <laughs> but if you're asking questions, you'll notice you talk way less and you get to learn a whole lot. More. I can have a 20-minute conversation and might ask eight questions and they talk the entire time. But they remember my name before they left that, <laughs> before they left. <laughs> so, Use that form of occupation, recreation. What do you like to do? What do you do for fun? Right? And then motivation. What, what inspires you? Did you always want to teach you? Did you have something else you wanted? Do you have any goals you have set for next year? you have any goals you want to finish before the end of 2023? Like, oh, yeah, I want to pay off some debt. I want to, you know, finish a coursework. I want to, you know, asking them. Now I know how I can help them. If they say they got some goals they want to finish for the end of the year, oh, okay, you want to lose weight. You know what? I got a free pass for, for, for seven days at, at the gym I go to. I can introduce you to someone that can put together a, a diet plan because nutrition is important when it comes to losing weight. Right? Now we can have conversations on what I can do to help you. And when I'm asking for their information, they're not hesitant to give it to me because I want to help you. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let me text you. Let me text you a link for a, a YouTube yoga session I did the other day. It was great. Let me text you a link or let me send you some information about what you just said you wanted. And I'm like, hey, this is Chuck Carter. It was great meeting you. Lock me in. Here's that link I told you about. We gear before we ever ask, right? And my mentor, he said it like this. He said, help enough other people get what they want and you can always get what you want. So we just keep helping people get what they want. Absolutely. I encourage you to follow Chuck here on LinkedIn or YouTube, where you can watch the entire interview about networking. Please share your comments below.